You have probably seen similar posts from your friends on Facebook, but tonight we thought we'd have a real face-to-face -face conversation. Newsday's Kevin Reese sat down with some of your neighbors, Trump voters who say they stand with the president. How do you I, think the, the midterms are going to go? Is fired up. They are three dedicated Trump supporters: Gina O'Brien, Karen Anders, and Suzanne, who didn't want to give her full name because of the political climate right now. Um, people feel so strongly, one way or the other. I don't personally want to offend anyone, but I also want to be able to. Um, speak my truth. And Their truth as Trump supporters is that they do not see a problem with the words the president uses, no problem with the way he tweets or the way he talks. You think the president at all needs to tone down like some people are asking him to do? I don't have a problem with him tweeting what, you know, and being honest. His words are powerful, yes, but let's look at what he's doing. They judge the president not by his words, but by results, crediting him with low unemployment, a strong economy, and a promised toughness at the U.S.-Mexican border. I think I'm more committed to him than I have been. I asked about the Trump supporter arrested and charged with sending pipe bombs to multiple Trump opponents and CNN. They don't blame the president for that. I don't think you can associate evil with Trump supporters, just make a blanket statement of that. Um, we're good people. Democrats are good people. As for the people the president says are not good, how do you feel about him targeting people like me as, as the bad guys? You're willing to hear both sides. And so I don't think of you as, as the enemy of of him or anyone else because you're presenting it the right way. The right way for them as Trump supporters is to judge him by economic results. President Trump has done a phenomenal job as being president. Unwavering support that his words have not changed. In North Dallas, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.